the topic today is going to be uh, trigonometric functions of angles. So, you know, up to now we've talked about what is an angle, and now we're going to talk about sine, cosine, tangent, and all that good stuff. And it can seem complicated at first, but I hope to break it down so that it's not so complicated for you. Okay, the first thing we need to do is define sine, cosine, tangent, and, and so on. So in order to do that, I'm going to draw just a uh, coordinate axis here, mainly just for, for reference for myself as we draw things. Okay, And then I'm going to draw a triangle. I'm going to draw a triangle that's going to go up like this and like this. It's a right triangle, which just means this angle right here is 90 degrees. That's all. That's all it means. Okay, so this is the triangle. This, this section right here, this is a triangle. Okay, now there are a few terms that you need to understand and you probably already know. Um, this, this uh, leg of a, of a triangle, which is the leg that's opposite of the right angle, okay, in a triangle, is called the uh, hypotenuse. And here I'm just going to put HYP, but uh, I think it's spelled like that. Check me on that. But it's the hypotenuse of the triangle. Okay. And um, there's a couple of other sides here. Uh, first, we're going to put an angle in here. Again, this is just a, a, a Greek letter theta saying here's an angle. Okay. So you have the hypotenuse of the triangle, which is opposite of the right angle. You also have the adjacent side to this angle, and you have the opposite side to this angle. So really there's nothing here too complicated. I have a triangle, I have some angle, and you'll find out in a second we're going to talk about sine, cosine, tangent of this angle. Okay? In this triangle I'm defining some sides. I have the opposite side of this angle, the, the side of the triangle that's opposite of this angle. I also have a side that's adjacent to this angle, meaning it's the one that's kind of next to it, and then the only other side left over is called the hypotenuse, and that is the the side that is opposite the 90 degree angle. Okay, and that's going to be the definitions we're going to use in the lesson today. And it's very common in textbooks to see it abbreviated this way, and that's why I've drawn it that way. Okay, let's define some simple terms, and then I'll explain what they mean. The sine, which is written S-I-N, the sine of this angle theta, okay, which is just, it could be any angle, I've just drawn the triangle like this, okay, is equal to, by definition, geometrically, the opposite side of this triangle over the hypotenuse. Okay? So, if you know the, uh, if you draw some angle like this, okay, and you know the length, the physical length from here to here of this opposite side, and you also know the physical length of this hypotenuse, if you divide these two numbers, you will get the sine of this angle. Okay? So, equivalently, if you know the angle, you put it in your calculator, you press the sine button, you will get a number. You'll get a decimal number, okay? And uh, you can arrive at that, that same number by just knowing the lengths of these triangles and dividing them, okay? And you'll see that all of these things are related by geometry, really. The cosine of theta is defined as the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So this one, the sine was the opposite over the hypotenuse. The cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So it's, it's really no different. It's just a different, a different leg that you're defining it by. But other than that, it's the same, same idea. Okay. You also have something called the tangent of theta. 